What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another morning dose of a casual card news. I am Jelly, the casual card gamer, and today we are looking at uh, just a just a couple of cards that have been released, and one card I'm really, 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 really excited to get my hands on. And yeah, so let's that that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty much everything. Let's get straight into the news. So, the first card that we're going to talk about is um, from a set that I'm not really covering right now because everything's already been released. This is Clan Selection 2. Uh, this will be coming out in April, and I am super excited for a, a couple of clans in this set, but the one that I'm most excited for, or at least the two that I'm most excited for, are Nova Grapplers and Oracle Think Tank, because back when I first started playing, my two best decks for Limit Break and uh, Break Ride, of course, were Beast Deities and Battle Sisters. So yeah, I still have the original Battle Sister from Maj Playmat, and I'm super excited to get that. I don't care what people say about them. I love these decks. I have a lot of affinity for them, so I'm just just doing what I love and playing these, playing these fun decks and um if i win then it's troll if i don't then you know no one was expecting me to win <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway so this is beast deity ethics buster it has two abilities its first is when it's placed or rode upon so basically this is its break ride ability discard two cards from your hand stand one of your units with beast deity in its card name and attack your opponent's vanguard with that unit it, at the end of that battle if the attack did not hit stand that unit and if the attack hit that unit gets one less drive until the end of turn so it lets you potentially swing with your vanguard twice if it didn't hit and of course you know you get minus one drive check if it did hit so i need to look at the rest of the beast deities before really passing judgment on it but um it's it's it's, <laughs> it's ethics buster and I have loved this deck for forever. Been one of the most fun decks to play. And um, I regret the day that uh, I traded it away for something else. But um, yeah, so the second ability is when your unit with Beast DT and its card name attacks, kind of blast one, and that unit gets plus five until end of turn. So the second ability is, uh, I guess it's okay if you're trying to, you know, get over you know, a couple, a couple thousand power it's good to use but counter blasting is <laughs> but this the first ability is what makes this deck really fun for me because i like i love on hit pressure decks that i've wanted to play in the past but never got to like the dragonic descendant i never got to play but i love the mechanic of if you, i don't hit i hit you again and especially when your opponent's at five damage unless they're certain that they're going to heal off top deck then <laughs> you know what you're you're attacking twice and yeah that's um that's it for that's it for ethics buster i, I don't like covering the clan selection 2 stuff because it's already been released and it's already on its way um but i just really wanted to show off uh one of my favorite cards in vanguard history so yeah that is that is ethics buster moving on we go into facebook for a little bit and we are getting some new keter sanctuary grade threes so we have two units and one order we'll look at the skills first and then we'll look at actual cards themselves so the first one is heavenly sword of gorgeousness alden so auto when it's placed on rear guard circle Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 1, choose a card from your hand, call it to Rear Guard. If you called a Grade 3, draw 2 cards. So, and then the second ability is when it attacks, if you have 3 or more Grade 3 units, this unit gets plus 5 until end of turn. Um, the cost is a little steep, I'd say. You, um, I mean, Counter Blast 2, you're Counter Blasting half of your comfortable damage if you know what i mean and getting to draw two is okay but you minus two basically because you have to call this and then you call another card from your hand so i don't know how good this is but um yeah uh i have my reservations about this card the next is dark dark strange dragon this is one that i like a little more so if you have three or more grade three units soul blast two and all your grade threes 
get boost until the end of turn so this is one of those cards that you'd probably hold off on using until you're maybe 75 percent sure that you can go for game because it again it's soul blast too but you know you're constantly riding and i'm pretty sure we're gonna get some kind of soul charger for this nation so i like that especially with bastion giving all of your grade threes bonuses as well so that is nice and uh, the last but not least swinging sword of judgment so pay this cost with soul blast doing one grade three and choose one of your opponent's rear guard oh, yeah choose one of your opponent's rear guards your opponent puts all of their rear guards in the same column as that unit onto the bottom of the deck in any order so we're getting a lot of soul blasting options here so let's just look at the cards real quick so here's alden and all of, his, all of his gorgeousness and it's okay i don't like i said i don't really like the cost to what he does just because i don't feel like it pays off enough there's a triple r though so i you know i might be completely wrong and this might be really good but right now i don't really see the use of playing him over let's say refluke because Reflug is, I feel like, a lot um, a lot better and a lot more tame in terms of cost to ability. And then next we have Strain, Dark, oh, Dark, Dark Strain Dragon. Looks pretty freaky. Single R. Its ability is pretty good for a single R, I'd say. Because you do get to push for... You do get to potentially push for game just because of the nature of this deck. Putting grade threes up on the field like there's no tomorrow but there we go and then last but not least uh divine sword of judgment or something like that. <laughs> the soul blast one grade three is okay since it is a, a grade three order you wouldn't be able to use it until around then anyway but yeah i don't see any problems with this i like this the only issue is that it is a grade three so you'd be using a lot you you'd be using up grade three unit slots for for this because you wouldn't I, I don't really see myself running too many grade threes with this but it is pretty good removal field removal for you and all you have to do is soul blast a grade three which is very easy after riding on turn four so that's nice and last but not least, we have some more Brantgate, uh, more Brantgate reveals, and I am super excited for this because this was actually pointed out that um, the flavor text of this is a direct reference to the Blouse, and Blouse, just like Beast Deities, are some one of my favorite decks, but that was more in uh, the Stride era for me. So this this. Unit is called uh, Grana Road uh, Fair Tigar, Fair Tigar, and it's flavor text since this has something to do with something. <laughs> From the legend of the Blue Warrior, the Crimson Gladiator was born, so that's really nice. I hope that this becomes a more stable archetype instead of just you know one one-off unit that's fan service for boomers like me, blau boomers like me. But its ability is on the rear guard, Soul Blast 1. This unit gets plus 2 until end of turn. Choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and imprison it in your prison. So it's a good backup grade 3. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a grade 3 version of the Robocop or um, Macross looking, looking guy that was revealed a couple i want to say like last week or something so that's nice next moving on we have another nova grappler grapple external so this is a grade two and its ability is continuous from the rear guard circle during the battle that this unit attacks if your opponent has a card imprisoned in your prison it gets plus five so 15k puncher I'd normally say slapper, but this guy's almost very obviously punching. I like the ability. I, the art is, hmm, um, I don't know. There's just something about it. He looks like Hulk Hogan with six arms. And nothing against Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Um, I just, I don't know. There's just something about the, <laughs> this is throwing me off. But 
Yeah, that's nice. It is now the Nova, Nova Grapple's new era, a ruthless competition among the strongest martial artists. That's kind of what it always was. So I don't know what they're going on with that. But anyway, on to the last card, which is also an order. This looks very Link Jokery, and I like it. Causality goes crazy as I will it. So analyzing unknown powers and utilize, uh, utilize them as weapons to defend the world. So play this with a Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets plus 10 until end of turn. It's a very, very simple ability. For Soul Blast 1, I think it's okay to give your vanguard plus 10. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm wondering what the new Link Joker ride line is going to offer in terms of a new mechanic because with the Dark Irregulars one, we have the souls and everything that, you know, like Pale Moon and Dark Irregulars put together. And then with the Sorceresses, we have the whole, you know, OTT gimmick. And with Zorga, we have the, the Grand Blue and Aqua Force being put together in terms of aesthetic. So I'm really excited to see what they do with uh, Brantgate because Brantgate is, I believe, like the smallest nation outside of the flying whale that the Bermuda Triangle have um, relegated themselves to. But yeah, looking at it right now, we have Dimension Police and Nova Grapplers sort of in one ride line aesthetic. So that leaves Link Joker all to its lonesome, which means... Something is coming. I, f I know that something is coming. And yeah, we'll just have to wait until next week to find out what the new Chaos Breaker looking dragon thing does. So that is that. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's casual card news. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little uh, injection of my late night adventures on the internet in terms of, <laughs> in terms of trading cards. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry if my energy level isn't as it usually is because uh, I'm not feeling very well. So that is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoy. I will see you guys on Sunday for In the yu gi -Oh! and Monday again for uh, casual card news. And yeah, I'll start uploading some probably some, you know, some poor man's troll deck profiles for Vanguard since I haven't done any of those yet. So that is it for me what do you guys think do you what do you guys think that the new link joker ride line is going to do let me know down in the comments and uh, we can we can have a discussion on what do you think what you think will be happening there anyway i am jelly the casual card gamer take care